Tonight at midnight, that shelter in place order takes effect in Waco and McLennan County. The mayor of Waco says it's not too early to take extra precautions against the coronavirus pandemic and wants you to take it seriously. 25 News reporter Eliza Navarro shares what the ordinance means for you at home. With this new shelter in place ordinance, people are wondering what they can and can't do during this time. For example, if you need to get a haircut, you will have to wait. However, you can still head to the grocery store for any needs. Here's what you need to know. During this coronavirus pandemic, it's all about staying as safe and healthy as possible. That is why Waco Mayor Kyle Deaver implemented the shelter in place ordinance for the city. Today I am modifying the declaration of disaster and public health emergency I declared on March 17th. The biggest question, what does this mean for everyone? Starting at 1159 Monday night, people are not allowed to leave their homes except for essential activities. Here is a partial list of essential businesses, health care operations and essential inf infrastructure, grocery stores and liquor stores, food cultivation, including farming, livestock, and fishing, businesses that provide shelter and social services. HEB says they are controlling the entry in order to help their customers with social distancing. Any business that is not defined as essential is ordered to temporarily close for the safety of the community. For people who are sick during the shutdown period, you are encouraged to call your health provider before showing up to a hospital or clinic. You'll want to connect with your physician first. Let them contact you, do an evaluation. From there, they can determine, well, if you need COVID testing, they'll direct you to a specific location. The mayor expects another wave of cases and says this is about reducing the impact. This is not easy, not easy for any of us. We are Americans and we're Texans and we are used to our independence and freedom. And I hate taking that away from us. But we must do this together if we're going to get through this quickly. You are also encouraged to go to parks and walk outside for some fresh air. However, remember to practice social distancing. You can also find a full and detailed list of the ordinance on our website, kxxv.com. I'm Eliza Navarro, 25 News, Waco. Eliza, thank you. If you do not abide by these orders, it's considered a misdemeanor with a fine up to $1,000. Waco's order lasts seven days, but a meeting on Tuesday will determine if the order needs to be extended. A Fort Hood soldier